Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 114. Thank you so much. For those of you who don't know what this is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it. I review it. Go over your cooldowns. Go over your teammates' cooldowns. Solo shuffle. Twos, threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus raids. Doesn't matter. Miss Weaver, Windwalker. Does not matter. Any MMR. I will review it. You could send me as much gameplay as you want. You don't need to edit it. Just send me your gameplay in any way and i will review it these are my favorite videos the best way to learn is to watch you watch yourself play trust me i still find myself making mistakes i it's annoying but it works um today we have taekwon dope which is a sick name um what he says in his email is i saw your flight for videos want to send you some of mine so i recorded a bunch of them really good uh anytime you can watch your gameplay back it's good i gen generally play miss weaver as a focus i'm trying to hit 1800 then graduate into fist weaver more but i still mess around with it yeah fist weaver is a lot of fun it's like the most fun i know there's lots to work on and i tried to send some representative uh flawed matches yeah any honestly games that you lose are probably best but two like wins losses it doesn't matter just send me any gameplay um if you're reading this far your videos are amazing i played a little bit of pvp as mage in Shadowlands, but once I hit, hit 1325, I switch back to Monk for Dragonflight, and I've learned so much from you. Yo, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks, man. Love the vibes. I think you're right. Miss Weaver is the funnest spec. Hope you find time to review one of these. I'm reviewing all of these. And thank you so much for the kind words. I, I really, really, really do appreciate that. Um, thank you. Thank you. And yes, we're going to go through all. Again, I don't, I've done like hour and a half long, like Monk Mondays. Like, I don't mind it. These are my favorite videos. It, it takes a stress off me and puts on you guys, which is nice. You know? So, <laughs> um, so it looks like we're playing Miss Weaver Survival Hunter. Yep, we're playing with Survival Hunter because of the muzzle right here is the kick. Um, versus Disc Priest Arcane Mage. You could go either one of these. I would say Disc Priest might be easier if you feel like you're getting kited. Maybe Mage is the main target, though, to stop polys. Um, Maybe they have to use blinks to get polys, and they don't have blinks to get away. So it does look like mage is the target of choice here, um, which again isn't that bad because it does stop your the mage from polling. So it's great. Looks like we're trying to get him out of stealth. Priest is coming in hot. Be careful when stacking up for fears. Um, I'm assuming mass and vis will probably be soon from the mage. They normally go for mass and vis, and then like a invisible ring. Yep, there it is, right there. We are fist weaving. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, we. We are fist weaving. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. All right. So we get a kick on the mage there, kick on the priest there, which is really good. Stops their go. And we chi instantly, which is fine because they do have spammable slows. And we do have an instant belt mist. Hopefully we use this soon. Okay. So it looks like we're not using our instant belt mist here, which is this glowing envelop mist right here. So what this is, is see this buff right here, this three, I think it's called Spirit of the Crane. I think that's what it's called. Um, at three stacks, you get an instant free enveloping mist when you use GG. You get these stacks from using Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, Spinning Crane Kick. Um, so you want to just use it at three stacks. That's pretty much it. That way you're not wasting any other stacks. So this is free. And if you're playing Rising Mist, you can keep extending it. So keep that in mind. Um, very, very important. Very, very powerful spell. Because it's more than just healing. It gives you... In belt mist. Uh, we go for a DR in cap there. It, I think the priest was already trapped. I'm pretty sure. I think this is trapped. Yeah, this is debuffs. Um, I think the priest is already trapped here. You probably, I wouldn't in cap if I'm playing with the hunter. I wouldn't in cap the healer or off target ever. What I would go for is a song. I know that mage has a CS right now, but I would still maybe go for the song. I see we're going for it now, but it's a little late. If you you did that while the priest was trapped, it would it would probably get instant trinket here um it looks like the priest careful when stacked up because the priest can get fear and it looks like i think this shows that the priest has fear so be careful um yep there's fear it's dr which is fine that's good um keeping renewing mist up on everybody's looking really really fine radiant spark as well um we're doing a really good job really good job we're rooted right now tiger's lost on yourself beautiful um Knockback from the mage is annoying, but again, we're doing a really good job. Radiant Spark, good kick on it. Well done. All right, there's Ice Block. The mage instantly comes out. RK Missile's coming out. Um, we don't have Ancient Teachings up, so be careful. I don't think we had it this whole time, actually. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so be careful, though. Good job going back into your Feyline Stomp, but we don't have Ancient Teachings here, so any damage we do right now is not healing. Uh, so keep that... There it is. Perfect. Okay, good. Good. Well done. Well done. 
Uh, again, and again, if you're not doing damage, not healing. So if the mage goes for a massive is, just hit the priest. You know, um, good cocoon here. We don't need to run. Tell you, tell you, Hunter, if you're in voice, you don't need to run. Uh, you have life cocoon up. You are good. That's second pain suppression as well. So there shouldn't be any more from the priest. Um, Tiger's also self here. Beautiful. Just run this mage down. Yeah, I, I personally, I would, I would, I would have went priest, but I just look like the mage is doing a really good job. Uh, really good kill target here. Again, good job building up damage. We do have our ancient teachings. Doing damage here. Give me a kick on something. That's beautiful. Um, boom. Anything. Cool. No, we're doing a good job. We have leg sweep here too. Uh, they're both off stun DR. I would sweep. Sweep. No, oh, that's okay. We got trap on the priest, which is fine. Uh, I would probably go for some kind of leg sweep soon though. Uh, especially since they, neither of them have trinket. Oh, or they die. Okay. Yeah, not much. Uh, nothing... I don't see anything crazy. Again, this would have been a really good... The game's over here, by the way. The game's over if you double XVP. Another of them are trinket, no stun DR. But you guys still did a good job. Uh, the only thing I would mention, though, is that you need to use your stacks of uh, of Chigi right here for the instant enveloping mist here. Because I actually think we went for a soothing mist. I think we went for a soothing mist cast as well. Where is it? Yeah, we soothing mist here. You don't need the soothing mist. You, you have an instant free enveloping mist right here. So just keep that in mind. Um, make a weak warrior for it or just check your buffs. It's this right here. It's the three stacks. You when it's only you get it when, with Chigi, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, you get a stack. At three stacks, you get free instant enveloping mist. Keep that in mind. Overall though, good job. Good job with kicks. Good job keeping your team alive. I don't even think you need to use your Storo. Um, oh you did. But still, you killed it. Great job. Good game. Fist was a lot of fun. Fist was so much fun. All right. So what do we got? We got uh another game here. We got a second game. All right, let me see. We are not fist weaving this game. It looks like we are casting healing. This is a solo shuffle. We are in round four. It is Mist Weaver, Hero Cleave versus Salty Rogue, Ellie Shaman, Disc Priest. It can go either way. I think what your team, obviously it's hard, you know, telling your team what to do. But you want to have your team hit the Ellie Shaman, cleave the Disc Priest with a grip. And then, you know, if you kill the rogue, uh, rogue just survive the cheap shots. And then, but there's secret technique. Um, but we get a port away. Okay, port is fine. You don't want to be stacked up versus salty rogue. You do not want to be stacked up against them. Primordial wave means that there is some damage from the Ellie Shaman coming in hot. Um, I would reset your port as well because um, your port is still right there. We get a grip. All right, so this is our go. This is our go. Um, one note, reset your port. That way you can't get swapped to and die. I don't know what talent you're running. It doesn't look like you're running disarm. Hopefully it's eminence. Maybe Chrysalis, maybe Zen Focus T, something like that. Oh, probably Peace Weaver. You probably want Peace Weaver. So we probably want Eminence, Peace Weaver, Chrysalis. Seems fine. Um, we got Trinket from the Shaman. Trinket Wall. Trinket from the Priest, too. So this is really good. Next Leg Sweep should be a win. That's also Dome. Okay. Yeah, no. You Your team is very... Okay, that's Smoke Bomb as well. We get Trinket from you, Demon Hunter. Cocoon from you. That's fair. That's fine. Um, it was smoke bomb. It's a fair trade. Um, that's rapture as well from the priest. So right now, we are ahead. I would say we are absolutely ahead. We still have revival. We still have Chigi or Yulon. Um, we are. I would say we're very far ahead. We have Netherwalk still. We have Blur coming up in thirty. Your DK has every cooldown in the game. So yeah, I think we're looking good right now. I would just say hold your leg sweep. Where's your leg sweep? Hold your leg sweep until either these two are stacked up off Sundiar or at least the priest is off. You know, um, off Sundiar. Uh, that's Stormkeeper. Oh, ooh, ooh. okay. All right. All good. All good. Um, Wait, wait, time out. The rogue just blinded somebody. The rogue just blinded the demon hunter or your DK. Don't know why. Could have been a misclick. I don't know, but we'll take that because I'm pretty sure it gets, <laughs> it gets broken instantly. And then this leg sweep right here. Not ideal. Leg sweep is very good. Leg sweep is very, very good, especially against people without trinkets. Helps you set up your in caps and your songs a lot easier. So this right here, uh, just wait five extra seconds and get the full stun. You know, I don't think priest has any pain suppressions left. No dome, no rapture. So I think you could just, if this leg sweep is full, you could just get a win. Um, also, the shaman's at half health. So um, again, not ideal. And then we walk into a fear because you know priests are pretty rough. And we no, we didn't trinket. Okay, good. Um, by the way, I would have absolutely played Restoro versus this and not Revival with Peace Weaver because you could use Restoro while stunned and Rogue is pretty much all stuns. We do trigger it there, which is fine. It's fine here because the Rogue already blinded. It wouldn't be good if he didn't blind yet though because then we'd probably just die. Um, good hots here though with Yulon. Beautiful job. Um, we're looking for an in-cap song maybe on the Priest. Oh, Stalin on him. Nice port kick. Nice drop. Give me an in-cap. Give me a Panda. 
in cap something give me an in cap in a song that's fine that's fine dark arc from the priest they're gonna do a little bit of damage here let's get ready start casting beautiful <coughs> dk is the wrong target for them to hit not gonna lie wrong target for them to hit but we'll take it uh nice in cap look get, get okay we've already saw him so we're fine okay we're fine we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here we are feared here though so this is a little scary uh we do have darkness Oh, there's another walk as well. Okay, good, good. Get a hot out. Beautiful renewing mist. Um, and we're doing good. I'm looking for an instant vivify. I don't know if you're playing it or not. Doesn't seem like it, but instant vivify could be good. Um, yeah, demon hunter is has darkness. Oh, I think we're dead. This really comes down. It, it, I I hate to say it because again, Mistweaver, Weaver, you make one mistake and it's over. But this game actually did come down to this leg sweep, which is really unfortunate. This leg sweep wasn't DR, wasn't full, and then the priest gets a free fear on us, and then I think we get CC'd off of it. Yeah, we get we get full kidneyed, and then also another thing, Restoral actually would have saved your trinket here. Uh, versus anything that's not Affliction Warlock, just play Restoral. Seriously, you don't need to. There's really nothing much to dispel that's important. I mean, flame shocks are important, but you can just normal dispel them because there's really nothing else to dispel. I would play Restoral with Peace Weaver. And your team is fine here. You don't have to trink it. I don't even think you need to trink it here at all. Yeah, actually, this was... Uh, you didn't have to trink it here either. Because we're, what, two seconds into this? How, how much longer have we left on this kidney shot before you trink it? Four, three, two... Two seconds. And our DK IBFs here. So there is a little bit of an overlap here. But I, I wouldn't have trinked here just because your DK has cooldowns. You know? And it's just a kidney shot on you. So... Be careful when you leg sweep priests because they will get free fears on you. And then also, um, I mean, saying not to overlap is kind of hard to say, but DKs are pretty tanky. They're they're pretty freaking tanky. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Let me see if I can get a talent tree. All right, we're not. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. We got a uh, salty rogue DK versus, un versus Ellie DK. Demon Hunter. I think the kill target is still Ellie. Um, even run down the Disc Priest could be fine too. But I think Ellie to start is fine. Uh, looks like we are going. We are in deep. You're, oh Experience my lord. Okay. Yo, thank you for the follow. I'm actually recording this. Yo, Zungo, thank you for the follow. That's a hunt as well. Uh, hunt on you. I think we're okay. You could Fort Brew this. Again, don't freak out when you get kicked. You have Fort Brew. You can even Dampen Harm if you have it. So you should be fine. You have Leg Sweep for the Demon Hunter as well if you need to. But, yeah, Demon Hunter's off Sun Yard now. You could sweep him now after meta. Uh, we're not really hit. Okay, there's Smoke Bomb, but your DK is, like, near you. All right. All right, there's Grips. All right, we got Slappy Hands from the DK. We're doing damage now. Hex, careful. Um, be careful of interrupts from the Shaman. And we're doing okay. The Shaman's coming after you. Feel free. There's a kick on you. Feel free to use Diffuse Magic after this. That's fine, too. Essence Font. It's not bad for the Double Mastery. Just be careful. Uh, we trinket that stun. Your rogue is just not helping you at all. That's a full hex on your trinket, which is rough. Um, DK should be fine with AMS. Uh, also has um, a stun and AMZ. So we should, the DK should be fine. That's dome as well. If we could rob it, that's good. It's fine if you don't. But I this this I hate this map. I oh my god, I hate this map. Just watching this game makes me hate this map so much. Yeah, this this right here, this this positioning is just it's not ideal for you. Because this right here is LOS, and then you have to push in. There's nowhere for you to LOS any damage. Like, this team can swap to you at any point right now and probably kill you in two seconds without a stun, uh, with a stun. So, I don't know what you can do to, like, tell your team to reposition. But let's just... This is what it is, right? Um, right now, really good job of Renewing Mists. Really good job of keeping yourself alive. We still have Diffuse Magic. We have Healing Elixirs as well. We've Cocoon in four seconds. The only issue is we don't have... Um, trinkets. So I would recommend right now and for future games to play Restoral over Revival unless you're queuing into an Affliction Warlock. Restoral with Peace Weaver makes it so you could use it while stunned. You could use Restoral while stunned and then also make everyone immune for two seconds to magical effects, which is good for you to keep yourself alive, to keep your teammates alive, stop any incoming CC on you, uh, anything like that. Really, really good. So I would recommend just swapping to Restoral almost full time. You don't see many affliction locks these days, but you do have the Demon Hunter running at you. I don't know where we put our port, but uh, we can kind of appeal for ourselves. Cocoon ourselves. That's okay. And we do get stunned while cocooned. I guess this isn't the word. 
that AMZ was brutal. That that AMC was brutal. I don't know. I don't know if you're a Death Knight. Oh my lord. I don't know if it was a misclick. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the Z axis here, but that AMZ did not land. Oh my lord. Okay. This is this could this is okay. It's fine. It is what it is. Can't, this is why I can't take solo shuffle too serious. Um, we did the, the issue is salty rogues are really hard to play with because they're kind of doing their own thing, trying to get one shots. I can see the damage right down right now is just so one sided. Your DK is struggling. Your rogue is somehow out damaging an unholy death knight, which is should not be happening. And then you just have the demon hunter doing like everyone's damage combined. So it, this is this loss isn't completely on you. Um, the positioning on this map is really brutal. Your team isn't doing damage, and if nothing's dying, you you're just never you know you're just a healer. You're you're just gonna heal. Um, overall, though, I would say do your best if you ever are in this position. Because again, there isn't much you can do about it. If you ever are in this position, try to hang back by this pillar over here. Like I think there was one time we moved back towards it, and then we ran away from it. Let me see. Like I know that the rogue pushes in. Also, it seems like we're playing super short cocoon. Um, and then we chill. I would just hang back here on this pillar. That's that's what I would do. Um, and then heal from there because when we push in, it's just it's just so easy to lasso you and hex you and everything. Um, but yeah, this it's just brutal positioning and your team doing no damage. I wouldn't say this loss is your fault at all. Um, so now we're playing Rogue Demon Hunter versus LED uh Death Knight. I'm gonna be honest here. I would go after the Death Knight just because it seems like. He ain't doing much damage, but that's okay. He might be new to the class, but hey, it is what it is. They grip you. Good roll away. Port. I probably wouldn't have ported. This is a little bit of a waste of port just because you're already far away. What I would have done is probably ported instantly, but that's fine. But you did kind of technically waste a roll. So now you have less mobility if they keep trying to go you. But you should be fine. It, it seems like you're okay. Um, Primordial away from the shaman. So again, damage is going to come out. That's a mind games on you. Probably should dis dispel this. Okay, this is fine too. There isn't much damage. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, Primordial Wave, big damage is coming out. And then I don't... Probably should, uh, What you should have done or what you could have done, because there's a million th different things that could have happened, um, is probably just dispel the mind games and then just start healing. That's pretty much it. Or Revival. Usually you want to see Primordial Wave coming out from the Shaman. Where is it? Did he already press it? He pressed Primordial Wave. I see it right here. That's IBF and the DK too. Primordial wave right here. Usually you want to see this. I try to revival when I see like um uh lightning bolts coming in because Shaman's doing big damage. They're doing a lot of damage. So just keep that in mind. Uh whenever you see this, just also this might be you information overload. Like it seems like with your UI, there's a lot going on. Like I'm seeing like virulent plague chains of ice down here i'm seeing weak auras up here i'm seeing cooldowns over here seeing weak auras over here cooldowns are popping up over here it, it could be a chance maybe simplify the ui again i don't many i don't comment on uis often just because you know it's whatever uh you know it, 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 you do you but for me like i'm for I'm, I'm getting like overstimulated a little bit like there's a lot going on here i don't really need to know when somebody trinket or like just to have like the trinket symbol or something um but you know primordial wave or just have like a weak aura that shows that it's active kind of freaks me out but yeah mind games this this game basically came down to we rolled on the opposite side of the map of our team if our again positioning is important for miss weaver the, no positioning on either of these games was brute was good like from your dps like your dps are in right now but they don't get that like you can't be in uh, you need to be 40 yards away um but yeah cutting this way is kind of rough you do die really fast or this rogue 52 to i mean just dead just shaman's just out here cranking yeah that was kind of absurd i'm not gonna lie that's just that was just like you shouldn't have lost this but <coughs> you did you know it's just a really unfortunate rng i see that we pressed revival like barely too soon or barely too late let me see actually four dead yep sucks sucks yeah we just couldn't react in time it happens happens you know happened to me too it's all good um yeah this, these games were fine your healing rotation is good positioning is the most important thing that i'm noticing though just stay far away your dps are going to push in trust me it doesn't matter what mmr you're at uh they're going to push in no matter where it is oh this looks like a fun game so just just remember it's okay um that's why solo shuffle take it serious but don't take it mostly serious because you know some dps are just going to push in 
you know, it's okay. Uh, from your point of view as a Mistweaver, you did a pretty good job. Stay on the pillar. Um, use your in caps to like stop damage. I do it all the time. It's really, really good. High skill cap for sure. If you can, if you get kicked, if you're taking damage, if you're, you know, anything, peel, peel for yourself. Leg sweep the demon hunter that that hunted you. In cap him if he trinkets. You know, go for a song off that. Like, just try to peel for yourself as well. Because in solo shuffle, people aren't going to peel for you. Trust me. Uh, we got void beef and double rogue. We got popping tags and zern. Okay. Uh, we got. It looks like outlaw rogue. Yeah, outlaw rogue. Yeah, I, I like outlaw rogue animations. Um, trinket cocoon from there. Uh, there is fine. I. They're probably just rogues just gonna run at you, huh? Go for an in cap. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'll take the quick dub. All right, we'll take that. Game was perfect here. We played it really well. <laughs> All right, we're playing. Uh, I think this is the Aster Rogue. This is Aster Rogue Warlock Mistweaver versus Arms Warrior Outlaw Rogue Disc Priest. So I'm trying to think. We definitely want Disarm. I don't know what talent you're running absolutely 100 percent want to run disarm so play grapple weapon disarm the warrior uh play eminence because it seems like they want to kill you and then the last one I, there's no magic damage except from the priest so i would run chrysalis so chrysalis disarm eminence is what i'd run versus this disarm's really good versus warriors um and then from here i think kill target's probably going to be the ooh, probably got to be the rogue i don't know i I, I hate, hate, hate trying to kill Arms Warriors. Uh, got a port down. Our transmog's looking not, looking mighty fine. It's looking good. It's looking good. They're going after Warlock, which I'm not surprised at. Hopefully, Warlock's decent at kiting. Got our port down. Smoke bomb. Uh, trick it from your rogue, which is good. Uh, be careful. He just death. We kind of just ran into that fear. So, just when... Don't ever try to push in on a priest... Um, unless they're CC'd because then you're just giving them a free fear. Mistweavers are so mobile. There's really no way for them to get a fear on you unless they're, unless you're slowed or like you push in on them. So just keep that in mind. Don't just push in on them without CC. He also deaths here, right here, this animation right here, right here. Um, this is shadow word death. What it does is when they shadow word death, it'll deal damage. And if it doesn't kill the target, it'll deal damage to them. So people can, they can use that to like, if they see that you're pushing in, they could death you. They then they can break your in cap. But it looks like we uh, we kind of fake it there, uh, whether we did it on purpose or not. But we probably did do it on purpose. And then we should probably go for a sweep here because we're kind of just yeah. Probably should have swept there. Fear on you is fine though because like the blind is half technically. But uh, yeah, I'd go for CC kind of soon. Um, this is a double coil, so a fear on the on the warrior as well. So this is uh, this is looking like Argo. I think there goes over. Maybe after this kidney shot, we start getting some CC. Um, they're hitting your rogue kind of hard right now, though. Um, fear, fear defensively. I don't know what that's about. Again, remember what I mentioned? Blind is uh, half dr after on on fear dr. So it's really good that he feared you. Uh, the rogue was a little impatient. Um, yeah, go for an in cap here. Yep, good in cap. Give me a song off that too. Your sweep, sweep is fine too. Yep, kill the rogue. Todd, nice. All right, we didn't get the Todd because he couldn't shot you, but that's fine. Good work, good work. Yeah, this is good. Doing a really good job. Perfect. Maybe get maybe get a five one. Could we get a five one here? Oh, uh, again, we have Outlaw Rogue Destro versus Asa Rogue uh, Arms Warrior. Uh, run the Destro lock to the ground. Also, this is actually a pretty good lobby to fist weave right here. You could just run at the Destro lock the whole time, but it's fine if you don't. It's okay. It depends on what you're playing, what you're playing into. Um, I don't see a strategy. Harambe's Angels. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, you could probably just push in. Uh, I definitely, again, this is Eminence, Peace Weaver, maybe Zen Focus T, because you're the only one that can get kicked. Um, we leap in again. Oh, man, yeah, some DPS positioning are just they're brutal. Um, Renewing Mist, though, is on the Rogue, so we're doing okay. That's blind as well. Uh, rogue Trinkets already. I think the, I don't know, okay. Uh, okay, we feared the Warlock. The Warlock trinketed the Fear, so, <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, we're looking looking good. Uh, be careful though. Um, this is manatee, which is really good. Good use of manatee. Go for an in-cap here. It's a little DR, but that's fine. Get a sweep off that. Beautiful sweep. DR panda. Get me a song. Beautiful song. Oh my god. And we get trinket there from the priest. Insane. Good job. Good job. Um, one note. Um, you do have mystic touch, which is a passive that gives uh, your teammates five percent increased uh, physical damage. You're playing with a warrior and a rogue, so that 
th that is physical damage. So whenever you get a chance to do damage to the Warlock, try to. That is pain suppression, though, and dome. Uh, we're looking for... Nope, and that's pretty much it for their cooldown. So that's it. All you need to do is live now. Uh, that That is every cooldown that they have. Just get any CC. You get kicked. Again, this is a really good situation where you get kicked. If you have in-cap, you can in-cap the rogue. You don't have it, but just in case, you know, in the future. Um, smoke bomb. This is definitely a smoke bomb go. We have ROP for it. Uh, we're not healing. Be careful. Uh, normally, if I have smoke bomb without revival, I just ROP it. Um, just to stop any of the rogue damage. That's death from the priest to a fear on you. Uh, you don't have Trinket, which I think is okay because we're kind of just sitting CC right now. Uh, Life Cocoon is fine. Go for an in-cap on the Priest. I think it's over. Void Shift here. Rogue's going you. Nice in-cap. Beautiful in-cap. We, if we're playing Eminence, I think we're, we're we're fine. If we're not playing Eminence, I'm just a little bit scared because we don't have Trinket uh, or Cocoon. All right. Stun on you. No follow-up CC because no one's really in range unless it's, no, Warlock can't get to you. Okay. All right, we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. Yep, good healing. Good healing. Good, good, good. Warrior is just target acquired on the Warlock. It's funny. Try to dispel that fear. Try to dispel. Nice. Uh, Dark Reprimand. In cap here. Good. Into a song. Sweep. Nice sweep. Give me a song off that. Rogue could die here, actually, if anyone. All right. We didn't press song, but it's okay. Nice panda. DR panda. Always love the DR pandas. Fear, again, after you get your CC on the Priest, don't stick around. Don't don't stick around for it. Also, we could have gotten a, a song here. I think I I I I don't know if we're tracking warlock kicks or not. I don't know how your UI works, but maybe he does still has kick. But yeah, maybe we could have gotten a song here. But I think we're doing fine. We got a kidney shot on the warlock too. But don't stick around. Like as soon as you get your CC on the priest, get get out of there. You don't you don't want to stick around for that. Um, your workers will trick it. No cooldowns either. Hopefully, warlock has no damage. Oh my lord. Oh. The only problem with this game was the mistake of because this is this should be a win right here. The only mistake this game was this right here. Priests are very prominent. They're probably going to be going to be good next season. You know they're really good. Um, so just get used to once you get your CC on the priest, get out. Like don't stick around. You got beautiful CC here, and then we stuck around, and the priest is able to fear you for free. Priests will never be able to fear you unless you run in on top of them or you're like already CC'd beforehand. So just keep that in mind. Great job this whole game. It like great job, great healing, everything this whole game until we stack up on the priest. And then they just get the free fear. Which is unfortunate because uh almost almost got the dub. Almost got the 5-1. Still 4-2 ain't bad though. 4-2 ain't bad. Overall though, man, though, no, these games weren't too bad. Let me think. Uh this first game, fist weaving was good. This was good. Make sure you use your instant free envelopment mists. Very important. Make sure you use those. Very, very good for extending if you're playing Rising Mist. Uh, but overall, good work. Uh, try to play Song of Chi Or you do, you're playing Song. Try to get a follow-up Song off the trap that your hunter places. And uh, you will just crush. You'll just run everybody down. So really good job here. Um, for this one, we didn't react in time to last game. Last game was like fine. You did fine. Um, the other game, this one right here, again, same thing with the priest. Don't go for DR leg sweeps. Wait until it's full DR. Whenever you get CC for, on a priest, roll away. Like you don't want to stay around for disc priest or uh, any priest that could fear you. Um, and yeah, that, I think that was pretty much for, oh, positioning too. Just stay close to the pillar for that, uh, for this game. Uh, this map, I hate it. I'm not a fan of the ramps. I really, really don't like them, but your DBS is going to sometimes go back there. So just try to play on like the left side of the pillar. Let them push in. Make it difficult for teams to CC you and kick you. Um, and if you have to peel for yourself, use your in-cap sweep. Panda, because I got a panda too. Uh, this one, again, played nearly perfect until the end, which is really unfortunate because you definitely deserve this win. Um, but yeah, don't stack on the priest. Do, do not stack on a priest after you get CC. Also, could have gotten a song um, on the priest as well. So that's okay. Just... Learn from your mistakes. It's fine. You played well in all these games. Really good work. Don't know how you load this low. I think you should be at least 18 inches, my guy. So that is pretty much it. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Anyone who might be running into the same situation, same problems, and that is it for me. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.